Hey man. So you've got friends with Nintendo Wii's and it's real cool that they have those uh, Wii controllers where you can wave in the air and control what's on the screen. Well, for most of us, we use mice, right? With our computers. And um, what if you have to... You're in a situation where you don't have a proper table. Maybe you're in an airplane or maybe you're doing a presentation where you still need to control what's on the screen. Or maybe you just want to play games with controls more like the Wii. Well, there's a new gadget uh, that's portable and uh, we'll be talking all about that right now. So check it out. Today I'd like to show you this new gadget I got. It's an input device. It's called the Gyro Transport Pro. It's made by the Gyration Company. Okay, and this is a portable solution that they have. They usually sell a bigger uh, mouse kind of device, what they call an air mouse, where it's a mouse that you use in the air, and it has a gyro of some sort inside. That's how. It detects the movement so here's what it looks like okay just show you a bit of the packaging it has a it has a dongle okay and uh, this thing actually comes with as you can see here it comes with a, a flash drive okay which is also the receiver so it's a two-in-one and this is the controller over here okay this thing works with um, Mac PC and Linux because it's a standard input device but on Windows it has uh, drivers and it has software installed inside the flash drive that lets you um, do more uh, fancy controls like controlling your presentations and all that. In any way, I'm going to show you how you can use it with your Mac uh, or any computer. In this case, I've got the Xbox Media Center or what's known as Plex today. Uh, it's running on OS 10, right? So they've made it work on OS 10. So anyway. Here's a demonstration of how you can use it with that. So the gyration controller here, okay, has this loop here put on your keychain, so it's very small. Um, has this uh, one gigabyte flash drive, okay, which is also receiver. The battery goes in here. The on-off switch is here. I'm not sure if you leave it on whether or not the battery will drain, but um, you can turn it on and off. Has two channels, so you can use more than one controller at a time, I guess, and. Uh, Basically, the input involves you waving this thing around like a Wii controller, and uh, there's left click, right click, and then just to activate the movement. And this one is to swipe. Now, the swipe probably only works with Windows. So anyway, I'm going to plug this in. You take this out like so, okay? And uh, it's quite tight, so it won't fall off. At first, I, when I looked at it, I, I was concerned about the build quality, but it's actually quite solid. So. Here's the, the receiver, and go. I'm going to plug it into the Mac over here. Okay, so it's plugged in. Now, if I had a desktop showing, you'd see that the, the flash drive mounted. Otherwise, the, one of the first things you want to do is to make sure that you connect both the receiver and, uh, and the controller by hitting the connect on the button on both, both sides. Okay, but I've done that already, so it's okay. So all you have to do is press this big black button while you move your uh, hand around. So as you can almost sort of see, I don't know if you can see there, but you can see I'm actually making selections over here. Okay? So you can see the mouse, move, the cursor moving as well. So if you want to select something, you can just do the left click. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, it's not responding. It was working earlier though. Okay, well, it sort of works. I just have to fidget a little bit. But yeah, you can see how it kind of functions. And um, now obviously the swipe control won't... Uh, it doesn't really work on a Mac. When I hit it, it doesn't really do much um, probably because 
I realized that it probably mimics F1 on our keyboard and uh, we'll probably need to get something like USB overdrive or something to have this fully mapped out, all the buttons fully mapped out for the Mac um, so that it'll make more sense. Right now it's it's it functions as something but we don't know what it does on a Mac exactly. So um, now something tricky here, something that you're not used to, if you have to drag windows with this, okay, your, your desktop windows, you'll have to press both the black button and the left but left click and then you can drag it. Otherwise if you click the left click and you just move, it won't move. It, you have to press the black button as well so you kind of have to press both at the same time if you want to drag something there's just something a little tip for you so yeah anyway um, so this is the gyration um, air mouse or mouse in the air it's called gyro transport pro and I got it for I think $39 on wood or less I can't remember uh, it's not too expensive I think but it's great if you're doing presentations where you don't have a desktop to work with or if you have a media center like something like that hooked up to your TV uh, something like that would be great for you to just control the mouse uh, from your couch so that's what it is alright cool